Good morning, my beautiful farm fam. Do you see this behind me? We knew it was gonna snow, but I honestly thought it was just gonna snow overnight, not throughout the day. It had no indication of snow on the radar, except for like maybe around 11 o'clock last night. Um, this weather is bonkers, you guys. Like, this is crazy. We've had snow here before, so that's not like the crazy part. The crazy part is that it's three degrees outside with a negative 14 degrees wind chill. That is completely bonkers. That is very, very cold for this area. We are not used to those kind of temperatures here. We've had 20s. We've even had teens for a little bit, not like days or, you know, I mean like a couple hours maybe. Um, but this has been super cold for all morning so far. We've been having issues with the electric going on and off. So thankfully I um, was able to get a cup of coffee. So I am grateful for my coffee this morning. I'm grateful for my husband going outside and milking Daisy in this crazy weather and taking care of the animals and just doing everything that we need him to do. Um, but he's definitely been a trooper going out there freezing his buns off. He is a Cuban boy. And although we've been in Alabama now for four years, four and a half years, almost five, um, he still is a Cuban boy with warm blood at heart. So, uh, for him to go outside in this cold weather is very, very hard for him. Our biggest issue has been this right here. We can't manage to get them out of the pond. So, follow along today and see what we manage to get done with these ducks. Kids are watching their tablet because, again, the electric keeps on coming on and off. But I don't know. You hear that noise? We've had to resort to bringing in some baby chicks. So with everything that's going on outside, we decided to bring the baby chicks in. We noticed that this one right here, um, one of his feet might be frozen. Um, they've been inside for a few minutes now, but I don't know if he has frostbite on his foot or not. Um, but we figured it would probably be best to bring them all in. Mom is still outside. We can't bring her in, unfortunately. Um, everybody else on the farm seems to be doing okay, except for just this one little guy right here. So I think just bringing him inside is going to be, um, good for him, but we need to make sure that he's eating and, and drinking water and stuff. So we'll keep a close eye on him, but for right now, I have no clue what they are doing in that food bowl, but that is all that we have at the moment to let them eat out of. So hopefully they'll keep it clean and, uh, Everything outside is completely frozen. It is actually snowing at the moment. The ducks were crazy and have been in the pond. We finally got the ducks out of the pond. Um, and now the pond is starting to freeze over. So I'm kind of glad that they are out. They are, it looks like they are for the most part in the barn. Um, it is three degrees with a minus 14 degrees wind chill. So I have been outside trying to help get these animals in and making sure everybody has plenty of food. The only issue that we're having at the moment is frozen water for the animals to drink. Um, but we are doing the best we can to go out there and replenish their water. So we have had issues with the electric turning on and off. We, um, we had the heater on but with the electric flickering too much, we didn't want that messing with anything that could potentially break the um, the unit outside. So we've had our pellet stove on, which has been doing an amazing job. Um, but with the electric flickering on and off, it's 
been kind of a pain in the butt. We knew it was going to be cold. I did not know that we were going to have the negative wind chill. Um, but honestly, when you go outside, it feels very cold, but it's not as cold as I thought it would feel, if that makes any sense. Um, we did have a hard time with our milk machine. So that is something that, you know, just if you guys milk your animals, don't leave your electric milker outside. Bring it inside because it will not work if it's frozen. We just have this little, um, oh, let me turn it around here. This little box right here. We usually keep it outside and have it actually um, attached to the milk stand. So it's less stuff that we have to bring outside. But um, we brought it inside, thawed it out, put it back outside and it worked just fine. Daisy was definitely ready to be milked. And of course now it's snowing again. So my weather station didn't say anything about continuous snow. It just said snow overnight. So I don't know. This is some really, really wild weather, you guys. But I'm going to keep you updated on what the rest of the day looks like. And um, just know for now we're all doing okay. And I will keep you updated on the little baby chick. Thankfully, I'm just really, really happy that we finally got the ducks out of the pond because from what I was reading up on, ducks can't really handle weather under 20 degrees. And with them being in the pond, I know that pond is freezing, but I think what was happening is they would go in the pond because they felt like it was warmer or something. I don't really know. But every time they tried to get out, it was so cold that they would, because of the wind chill and already being wet, that they would just go right back in the pond. The other chick that we have, the the one, the single chick, the little yellow chick that we have, we put that one in with the turkeys. Um, they all seem to be doing really good. The turkeys and that baby chick, we have them protected really well from the wind. And of course, because the chicks are inside, outside she's fine with the the poultry animals which is it's very strange it seems like and i'm talking about lady she is on babysitting duty over here she is going to do this the entire time she did this with the turkeys she's done it with other chicks that we've had in the house um outside she just looks at them and she tries to chase them a little bit but she's never tried to bite them but of course because of the incidents that we've had on the farm um, with her and the bigger livestock, we definitely do not trust her. The little little brown chick is, like I said, the only one that I'm really concerned about the most. Um, the rest of them are all huddled up and, and staying nice and warm. So I'm just glad we finally got them inside the house. We were debating on what we were going to do yesterday with them, um, but we, have, we weren't able to catch them because they went underneath the shed. And... Uh, we can't get underneath the shed to get them. So unfortunately, we couldn't get them in. But I think they're going to do fine. It's so crazy, you guys. When I look outside, I don't know if you can tell, but we have the sun shining and it's snowing. And oh, darn it. There is a duck in the pond. This crazy duck. And look, I mean, you can see that some of the areas like back there where there's that white spot in the pond that snow that's built up on top of the ice, you can see that they're starting to have, um, it's starting to form some ice in the pond. And this guy's just swimming right around it. Oh my goodness gracious. I mean, I don't know how many times I can chase these guys out of the pond. Crazy, right? <laughs> how do you feel about the snow? Uh, oh, I want to Go inside and never go out. There. Go inside and never go out. So we're trying to put on the the gas fireplace, but it won't um, it won't completely ignite. So he has to go out and face the weather again, and um, make sure it's turned on properly. Luckily, that's not really far away from the house. He just really has to go walk just past the other side of the driveway, um, right next to his workshop. It does work, it does start. It's not an issue with that. We just have to get it running. And I'm sure he'll get it running because he's really, 
He's good at figuring things out. So I told you he would get it started. I knew it. Now he gets to finally sit and relax. And I'm gonna clean up this house a little bit. The kids have been terrorizing the house a little, making forts and stuff like that. But I think I'm just gonna sit here for a second and enjoy this heat. But so proud of this guy right here. <laughs> I moved our little chicken nuggets closer to this fire just so they can get some warmth. I put a a blanket in there for them because they I think they missed their the wings of their mama because I had my hands in there and was just kind of like putting my hands around them and they seemed to really like that. So the blanket is keeping them huddled, comfortable. You're gonna leave them alone, right? Lady, you can be a good girl. Yes, you're a good girl. You leave them alone. Okay, I'm trusting you. I'm trusting you. Alexia and Zion went out into the barn to break up all the water troughs and make sure that the goats and the cows had water and also for Sergeant so he could have some water. Zeke and Daisy came out for just a minute to go ahead and grab some more hay. Um, looks like they're tired of it though. They're going to come back into the barn, I'm pretty sure. Good morning. It is the next day. As you can see, we still have snow on the ground. It has not continued to snow. Um, this is still just the snow from yesterday, but our pond finally froze over, so we no longer have to worry about the ducks swimming in the pond. Thank goodness. But it's really sunny. It's pretty but it is nine degrees outside with a wind chill of, I think it said minus three. So not quite as bad as yesterday. Yesterday was, was three degrees with a minus 14 wind chill. So it's still stinking cold out though, I'll tell you that. <laughs> and Antonio, my husband, is outside right now taking care of all the animals and milking Daisy. The only issue we have right now are these guys over here. Um, yesterday, we noticed that their feet were very swollen and they had um, some liquid in their feet. So we had to kind of like pop the bubble a little bit to let the liquid out. It was almost like a um, just a blister really and i do believe it was because it was so cold when they were outside mom had them walking around in the snow and they're only a couple weeks old so um i don't i just think that they couldn't handle it luckily we did bring them in you know early yesterday morning so um they are recovering after we popped the blisters we put some of this bactine max on. pain relieving cleansing spray. Um, it is antiseptic to kill the germs and stuff like that. So hopefully um, this helps at least with the pain. You can see just kind of by looking at them that they're having a hard time walking. Almost every single one of them had blisters in their feet. Let me see if I, you see this foot? It keeps on swelling up with liquid. So we've been bursting those little bubbles to make it easier for them. Um, oh, this, this foot too. 
like you can even see. I think the the bellies are like that because of the liquid. Um, but it's just, it's so, so strange, you guys. I don't understand. But it's from the, the freezing cold temperatures. And like I said, we couldn't get them inside because they immediately... They immediately ran underneath the, um, here, they need to eat though. They're eating. The liquid is oozing out of their feet. It was oozing before we actually took a little lancet to just to kind of let it drain to hopefully help some of the pressure. Um, and that's why we put the, the spray on it just to help with any kind of extra pain that they might be feeling or anything like that. But they are having a tough time walking around. Their feet seem to be in pain. So you guys, it seems like daily almost we have been faced with a new challenge. And normally when things like that start happening in our experience, it is basically the devil trying to come in and steal your joy kind of thing. You know, I'm sure you guys have heard that saying before, don't let the devil steal your joy. But, um, you know, this... It, when things like this start happening in our lives, it's just like, get behind me, Satan. There is nothing that you can do that is going to destroy our happiness, our confidence, um, and our desire and our will to do what we're doing. And, you know, I'm going to keep on saying this because there really isn't. There is nothing that the devil can do that is going to take this away from us and, you know, make us miserable or sad. What is going on? Yes, it is sad, it's hard, um, but it's definitely not going to change us and our mindset. Um, we are not going to let these things bring us down. Um, again, all we're going to do is learn from them. Um, you know, maybe if we, if we know that it's going to be cold like this in the future, just catch the little chicks as soon as we can. They're hard, they're fast little boogers, you know. Don't think that these little guys are slow and easy to catch, because they're not. They are very fast, um, but because of the cold weather, it kind of slowed them down a little bit, which gave us an opportunity to catch them. But, um, you know, they're gonna be okay. It's just a little bit of fluid in their feet. Yeah, it's horrible, it looks really bad. But we're going to keep on, you know, doing the best we can to get the fluid out. But with that being said, I hope you guys have a wonderful holiday season. I know that we will, despite all of the, the hardships, despite, you know, everything that has gone on, um, you know, all you can do is lift up your head, keep smiling, stay in prayer, stay in the word, and, you know, just, just push through it. Don't let the negativities of life, sorry, I'm a little congested, guys. I've been congested for a few days now. I don't know if you've noticed in the past videos. Um, but anyways, you know, just keep pushing forward. Stay, stay happy. Stay nice and warm with your family and friends. And um, above all, just stay in the word and be grateful because this season is not uh, just about gift giving. It is about God and about Jesus and why he came. Um, even though, like I said in past videos, we celebrate Hanukkah, not so much Christmas. Um, we used to, but we're getting out of the Christmas and going into Hanukkah. We love you all. Thank you all so much for being with us. Thank you for being a part of our journey. And um, until next time, you guys be blessed. We'll see you then. Bye-bye.